winter storm warning, by the way, in effect until one o'clock in the morning. And then we set the clocks forward one hour after that. So just be prepared for tomorrow early. Let's talk about the cold air, the snow. Boy, portions of the Del Marva got hit pretty hard with the thunderstorms. Now you're getting a bit of a break, but just to the north, the cold air starting to filter in. New Jersey getting the snow and in spots it's starting to stick now. Uh, you know, the main roads, of course, have been heavily traveled. It's been warm, but a lot of the uh, snow is coming down. Here's some of the top snow reports coming in mainly out of Tennessee, West Virginia as well, uh, and this is for the past 24 hours over to Kenna, West Virginia, 10 inches there. Uh, La Follette in Tennessee, 10.6. Arthur, Tennessee, also about 10 inches of fresh snow. Sissonville, West Virginia, and Cross Lanes, West Virginia, both nine and a half inches of fresh snow. Now you have to deal with the cold air in place. Uh, and some of these places up to the north are going to see some gusty winds, so you'll have some low visibility. You'll have snow coming down for hours, three hours in some cases. So we have blizzard warnings in place for portions of West Virginia. The purple that you see, winter storm warnings, and then the blue, the blue is going to be the snow advisory. Now, as the storm starts to move off the coast, this is future track later this afternoon. The back side of that, the wind flowing around that coming in from the north northwest will continue to give us a couple of streamers. So we could see some lake effect snow on top of the snow that's already down. Plus, you've got the gusty winds, and I think this is your time frame where you'll start to see uh, some pockets of low visibility because of those winds gusting around. Through the end of the day, some spots, especially to the north, could see five to eight inches of fresh snow. All other spots, especially along the I-95 corridor, if you're going to be traveling, you say, Craig, what about me? How much snow are we going to get? Uh, about one to three inches of fresh snow, so still pretty tricky on the roads. There, as we move into portions of New England, you can see the higher totals for Vermont, New Hampshire, right across the Maine, uh, into the mountains, rather, through Maine as well. Today's highs only into the 30s, cold and windy. Cleveland, 24, but with the wind in place, it's going to feel more like the teens. That feels like temperature. Temperature. Tonight, the system's out of here. Clear conditions, not quite as windy. Cold air settles in. There's snow on the ground. We will wake up to teens and then highs tomorrow. Jane, woo, 30s. What a way to end the weekend. Oh, hi, hi. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.